So, it's, it's not really going to matter. Yep. Very nice. Complicated, but nice. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight, we have a very special treat for you. Despite the shock and amazement of my chat, there is a certain type of Esper deck that I do enjoy. Do you know what that is? It's Esper Draw Gain, Draw Drain. Uh, we're going back to a little connivance here. With the amount of card draw that you can hit with connive, we did this one in Dominaria, but I've updated this one for the Brothers War. I really like these connive gain and drain ones. Connive used to be really top tier. I think people got bored of it. Um, so we're going to run it as a secret. Absolute card superiority, gain and drain effect, solid deck all around, and the very rare Esper color that isn't control. If you don't want to just hit control on somebody, you want to hit in a unique and freaky way, this is the one for you here. So before we get into this one, guys, um, I need you to do something for me. You know what I need you to do for me? Tenderly hit that like button. Gently hit that subscribe button. Because if you don't, if you don't hit that like and subscribe, well, the like and subscribe will come and brutally maul you. He, he's just going to attack you viciously. Uh, don't smash them. Everyone wants you to smash the buttons. I just want you to be so soft with them. Join us on our stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvalenj for all the live streaming goodness. We would love to have you there. We are having a great time. Uh, we're on our way to 1.6k pretty quickly here. Excited about that. You can check out our Discord community for all the latest uh, inspir inspiration. Um, inspiration? Well, well, conversation at our Discord. Uh, check that out in the description. And of course, this deck and all the other ones uh, that I built are available down below on my Aether Hub. So you can check that out right there uh, down in the Aether Hub below. So what are we talking about with the Gain and Drain? A lot of necromancy too. We're actually bringing a lot of creatures back because you're going to be discarding a lot. We wanted to add a lot of synergy. So this is a really good combo deck here. Kind of tempo, not really control, but we do have some removal to get through it. So we're going to be starting with it. Um, uh, Lauren's Escape which is a fantastic little card here. When you're going to be drawing pretty much almost every turn an extra card, having ability to scry one and protect from Hexproof and Indestructible is extremely, extremely useful. Because if you know you're going to draw a card as soon as you attack, you can set yourself up for whatever you want. So fantastic stuff right there. Um, cut down, and, and of course, Indestructible, I mean, it's just, that speaks for itself. Cut down and Faithful Absence. Guys, you have seven slots here for uh, removal. That's what I want you to remember. You have seven slots for removal. Cut down, I want to try to get fast on this one. I don't really care about giving them a card draw, because in the late game, I'm going to have the Sheldred, so they're going to probably hurt themselves with the card draw more, more often than they're going to help themselves. So I really don't care about giving them the card draw. I want to move fast. I want to be able to destroy Planeswalkers. And I want to slow down some of the red aggro or gruel aggro stuff like that. Uh, I really want to be able to kind of, again, slow it because we're kind of a mid-range deck. We don't, we don't have the immediate bangers to pop out. And if they're smashing us for two, three turns right away, we're going to cut them down. So our two workhorses here are going to be Blue Flyers. Uh, Fairy Vandal, which of course uh, we know from New Capenna and was previously, I think, at Eldraine. Um, Flash, which is really useful as you can play it on your opponent's turn, and Flying, 1-2, whenever you draw your second card, it gets more and more powerful. We are almost always going to be drawing a second card uh, pretty regularly. That's going to be a pretty regular thing, so it's going to get more powerful. And then, of course, we have Ledger Shredder, the Legal Eagle, Bird Advisor, 1 Blue and 1 Flying, 1-3. One, whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, that's any player, by the way, um... Whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, Ledger Shredder connives. What is connive? You draw a card and then discard. If you discarded a non-land card, um, put a 1-1 one, one counter on that creature. So, <coughs> again, if we're discarding, we don't have to worry about it. We have a lot of resurrection capability, so if you want to throw away a creature that you know you can get back out, don't worry about it. Casting those second spells are pretty easy. 
in the middle to late game because of cut down Lauren's uh, Lauren's escape and fateful absence and some of the other stuff. So once you have four, it's pretty easy to kind of cast two spells, and it also applies to your opponent casting spells. Then of course we got Rafine, Rafine the scheming machine. One black, one blue, and white. Esper colors. It's okay, we don't hold it against her. Um, one four Sphinx Demon Legendary Flying and Ward One. Really nice, a solid card. Um, whenever you attack, target attacking creature connives where X is the number of attacking creatures. So the more we attack, the more we connive. Really, really, really useful stuff there. Why? Because uh, again, it's going to help us draw and it's going to help us discard. The more we draw, the more powerful we get, the more life we'll gain. We're going to have a lot of different abilities going off. You can get by with three Rafines. If you if you really if you're like, I can't afford Jay, that's too much. You can get by with three Rafines. I'm not gonna be too mad at you. But she is kind of be central. She's our she's our clutch kind of three drop. So uh if you can't do four of her, at least do three. Um really useful powering up anybody, especially when you attack with three or four creatures. Gets really, really good and you're gonna be drawing a lot of cards. And you're saying, Jay, that's a lot of conniving. I'm throwing away a lot of stuff. I don't want to throw away that many cards. I don't want to throw that many lands. Well, you're going to get all your land drops. That's almost guaranteed because you're going to be drawing so much. But with Toulouse, Clever Conductor, uh, with your ability to be paid with all blue or any combination of blue-white or blue-black, really, really flexy mana cost right there. You just have to have blue with a splash of something else. 3-1, a very aggressive here, Human Rogue, Legendary. Whenever Toulouse Clever Conductor enters the battlefield, it connives. Okay, we're back to conniving again. Um, but whenever you discard one or more cards, exile them from your graveyard. Um, when Toulouse dies, put the exiled cards into their owner's hand. So what she does is anything you're discarding, think of it as going, she's, she's, she's a train conductor. It's going on a subway. It's going on a fancy magical subway. It is going to pull up at the station as soon as she dies. So people actually aren't really going to want to attack her because everything that you've been conniving and throwing away, she's going to just give you into your hand when you're done. I've gotten like seven cards in my hand with that, and they had to they had to block to lose because she got so powerful because um, I was conniving her with Rafine when she was attacking. Uh, and they had to basically give me a fresh hand with full removal, extra mana, more creatures, it's not a good deal. You always want to give them a bad deal when you do that. So Toulouse is very important. Voib Ren. This is one that I absolutely recommend uh, investing in. I know it's Esper only, but man, in the mono blue meta, that's half the reason I wanted to play this deck because of Void Ren. Um, it can't be countered, which means that, um, by the way, Ward doesn't work on it because Ward counters the spell. So you don't ever have to pay a Ward cost. They can never counterspell that. They're playing mono blue and they want to counterspell it. Guess what? They can cast as many counters as they want. It won't work. Uh, destroy target non-land permanent. That's not just a creature. That's a planeswalker. That is an enchantment. That's an artifact. Awesome. Awesome. Love it. Body launderer and Gixian puppeteer fulfilled two very important uh, sections here on, on the uh, on the black end. Two black and two body launderer. Death touch 3-3 three, three, ogre rogue. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies... It connives. So whenever a creature you control dies, body um, uh, you get to connive again. The conniving. Return another target non low non rogue creature card equal of power or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Well, uh, that means bird advisor. That means Rafine. Um, that possibly means Gixian puppeteer, even Sheldred. If you get get if you get body launderer big enough. So again, if you're throwing away ledger shredders or you're throwing away a Tolu or you're throwing away a Rafine or something like that. When he dies, whatever is less than his power, equal or less power, so if he's connived a couple of times, he could be four, five, six, um, he is going to bring somebody back to the battlefield, which means that he is going to resurrect somebody very, very effectively there. Uh, we're going to go with three of him. That is three resurrection off him and a nice beefy death toucher. Uh, then, of course, we have Gixian Puppeteer, which is the added one from our um from brothers war which is super super important to our build here one black and three phyrexian warlock whenever you draw your second card each turn each opponent loses two life and you gain two life i love that ability because i am always going to draw a second card with all the other stuff i have going on conniving is basically a guarantee gain and drain um again it only happens one time but that one time happening continually every single turn is really, really enough to start hurting people. And they say, well, I got to get rid of Gixian Puppeteer. He's too bad. Guess what? When he dies, return target another creature with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. What does that mean? That means, that means Toulouse, Rafine, Ledger Shredder, or Fairy Vandal, 
any one of them is coming back to the battlefield uh, if they die. So Body Launder and Gixian Puppeteer, if they die, they are always going to bring back other creatures. It's an endless cycle. It becomes more and more and more powerful as it goes on. We're going to finish off with the Shale Dread, the Shale Drussy. Yes, we love it. Um, white right here. We have two black and two. Um, whenever you draw a card, gain two life. That means the more you connive, the more life you're going to gain. And then, of course, um, you're going to have right here you're going to have right here whenever they draw a card they lose two life i don't have any force draw i used to try to hit force draw with this one and make my opponent draw something um and it wasn't that effective i just like the slow steady forcing them to draw when you combine this with fateful absence and they have that little button there where they can kind of draw an extra card um uh you know it, it's it's two life and they can get an extra card that adds up especially when you're running gix so she will absolutely benefit from your card draw you'll gain a ton of life she is just a nice beefy card on the board to finish it up with uh the mana the mana base is humongous here so a little a spare word for the mana base here uh which is going to be uh one plains four islands five swamps otawara takanuma of course and i think we have an edge ganja go in there I'm going more Attacar Wastes, more Shattered Sanctums, and more Underground River with the damaging ones because I am going to be gaining a decent amount of life in this one. And then, of course, we if we want to go slower, we do the Shipwreck Marsh, uh, the Shattered Sanctum, and the Desert Beach. That's kind of how I have set it up with two Rafine's Tower. Again, Rafine's Tower lets you cycle for three. I don't want to go too slow. It is kind of tempo, but I want to be able to play my cards when I want to be able to. So I don't want to slow myself down too much by having too much Rafine's and too much two or more taps so that's kind of why i did that the way it is and we will uncover the secrets with this one we are doing pretty good with this one in diamond pretty solid again more black more blue and a splash of white there 24 creatures all together all over the place decent amount of rogues though that's what we get for running a lot of capenna as we've got a lot of rogues 12 instants zero sorcery zero enchantments and zero artifacts how about that it's a all killer no filler here 24 lands total with a little variety. We have our little mini Rafine here. Uh, kind of reminds me of Rafine. Um, our, uh, we have our Obscura. Obscura? I think that's what they're called. We have our little Obscura card sleeves on the back that we don't get to use too often, so why not? That's what we're looking at right there. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. I saw a flash on the screen that somebody subscribed, but I didn't see it come up on my feed, oddly enough. Uh, did somebody subscribe and I didn't see it? Anyways um that's what we're looking at right there one two three and four nothing more than four and kind of really really living in the middle right there uh really kind of living very tightly in the middle there a little early stuff for removal and protection but two three four is where we're really living nothing really in the sideboard i don't have really any, that many suggestions for that um this one kind of works together all on its own so we're gonna get into some games here boys we're gonna see how she flies uh leave a comment make sure you've hit that like button uh, actually, don't don't hit it. Tenderly press it. Just just be easy with it. Um, there you go. Here we go. Ba -ba. Recently played standard secrets. You got zombie emotes for your channel. Just got to get them to stream now. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you can click your your opponent's pet. Um, I don't ever really figure in cosmetics. I, I'm not like a cosmetic guy. like, And that, that really has nothing to do with MTG. I just, that's anything. I don't really care about like cosmetics and stuff. It's just not really my thing. Um, so, yeah. Just not something I care about. Let me get rid of that. Let's go with that. He doesn't have a pet, but usually you can, yeah. Ledger Shredder. Boof. <clears throat> What's up, uh, Raven? I'm playing Esper. Listen. Okay, listen. I'm playing Esper Card Draw, all right? I'm playing Esper Connive. I'm not playing Esper Control. Uh, all right? That's the difference. You got to understand that. It's not Esper Control, it's Esper Connive. Auto pay, take the hit. Top late? I don't want to be top late. Um, submit. Okay. 
I don't know if you click your pet though, opponent CZM. I think it's only for them. What's this guy doing, man? And he's out of there. Showtam is out of there. Okay, fantastic. Oh, man. It's not Esper Control, my dude. I just want to point that out. <clears throat> oh, I forgot my water bottle. Hold on, everybody. I want you to I want you to put the copy pasta in memes and I'm gonna pin it. <coughs> Dems free not a Dems free water bottle. Dems got me. Uh, Snow got me this water bottle. It's empty now. <laughs> Do you remember the video it came from? Do you have any idea? That's a that's a big video. Last probably a year ago by now, huh? So I will do a hundred pack, at least a hundred pack opening, live on release day. Um. So you posted the clip from the video. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, excellent. So yeah, if you want to be here when when it goes live, I'm gonna be ripping packs like all day. Um, yeah, we're gonna get huge on it. Let's see if he's got counter spells. Well, right in such time as his rules and regulations and all called the video game. Impulse engines. So yeah, cookies in the stream on release day. I think the seventh. Is it the seventh that it goes live? Yeah, we will absolutely. Uh, we will absolutely be going hog wild, uh, ripping open the packs. <clears throat> We're gonna be theory crafting. We're, it's a big day. It's a big day. So. Um. Buggy man, 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 buggy man. He's really not gonna like Void Rend. He's gonna hate it. SMH, bro. He's really gonna not like uh, Void Rend. Nice. I gotta pull him out of his hand. Uh, I know he was gonna do that, but let's get to lose out here. All right, let's drop a fateful. Okay, let's do that. Drop the beat. Knives in the dark. Knives in the dark. Forty-three. Sneak attack. Thumbnail. Okay, that's the legendary Esper copy pasta. I would rather take it in more of such time that my opponent is unable to effectively cast a spell. Blah, 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 blah. Awesome. Perfect. We can't lose it. It's part of history, guys, right? It's part of our history. Part of our shared villain history. Hit. Rafine, Rafine, the scheming machine, kill card. Very nice. Hit, hit. July 20th. Oh my god, it's been 18 months since we fucking got the copy pasta. Holy crap. That's a lot of pasta. Mamma mia, that's a lot of pasta. <laughs> All right. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hmm. I'm gonna hold on to this and try to hit him with the two. Should I try to hit him with the two step? Hmm. Hmm. I could hit him with the edge ganj go. Let's do this.
The fun thing is that was all extemporaneous. That was all um, just off the top of my head. I sound so young. <coughs> it was 16 months ago. I don't feel like I've aged a whole lot. That Probably a better microphone, I'll tell you that much. USG delivery always on time, overnight. Always on time, man. Elegant Ferocity, what's up? Iron Lynch, I think I said hello. Sevis Reader, Thumb Butter, Tokyo Gringo, Black Magic, Buggy Man, Trex, Snow, Raven. Okay, all right. So he's going to do something here, man. He's going to do something. What is he gonna, he's going to do Fading Hope on that one. All right, so he really thinks he's going to get it, huh? He really thinks he's going to channel orange here, huh? All right. All right. Yeah. Put it in. I keep doing it, man. Keep doing it. Bring it in, bro. Gonna have the hex proof. I probably should have done the void ren, but nope, he got it. He fucking ate it. Uh, let's drop that. Let's see if you can get the. Uh... Did I finish the final act yet? No, I have it. I have it almost done on my computer. Um, I have it almost completed. Um, I have probably about maybe a hundred pages to write. And it's fallen off because I've been way too busy. <coughs> Unfortunately. Unfortunately, I've been really, really busy. Tolarian Terror, very nice. Delver of Research, very nice. Okay. How's about... Um, we do a Voib Rend. Let's do that. Let's do no attack. What is he gonna have? Is he gonna flash it? No. Nope. Draw. Oh. Talarian Terror, very nice. Yeah, very good. Uh, let's block. Oops. Four. Let's block that with that. Let's block that with that. Um, I will take the five. I think that works. So how about we put that down? We do a um, we do a we're gonna have to do two kill cards here. We're gonna have to kill that. Let's see if he counters it. Pierce, unless it pays another two, uh, we're gonna do no. Decline. 
And then we're gonna void rend. attacks he's gonna draw a card he's gonna lose two life oh 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 that's look at the top put one of them in your hand it doesn't actually tell you to draw that's too bad <clears throat> I thought he was gonna accidentally draw kill himself that would have been really funny oh he just said, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm good. All right, then, he's good. If he's good, I'm good, man. You know what I mean? If he's good, I'm good. Um, yeah, there was, at one point, we had so many bird-named people here, it was very, very absurd at how many bird-named people we had. Huge as, uh, Raven, the other Raven, um... The Council of Burbs. Um, birds aren't real? That's what I've heard. I've heard birds aren't real. Maybe Raven can shed some light on this. What is up? Okay. All right. There we go. Sorry. I had the mic off. What's up, Tony Gordo? Welcome to the, sh welcome to the show, man. Uh, you know me from YouTube, or are you just coming in randomly off Twitch? to hit that hit that removal okay he didn't do it he said no I'm gonna hold the steady <clears throat> I'm gonna put down I'm gonna hold steady man I'm gonna hold steady and see what we got going on here he might have played a removal well, he's gonna go for it oh okay He's going to void Bren that. That's fine. Okay. It's going to do Vesuvian Diplomacy. Why don't we Fairy Vandal it up? You're not listening too much. People are sleeping. Um, all right. Do you know me from YouTube is the question there. Uh, okay, let's do... Let's do Gixian. Let's sling. Because if you don't, I want you to go, Oh, okay, you know me from YouTube. Fantastic. That's great. It's going to target me, maybe. We don't know. Archer Wretched Sour, very nice. Can return something from the battlefield. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Auto pay. Let's connive. Get rid of cut down. Oh, let's get rid of another Gixie Puppeteer. Let's get rid of that. Let's swing me. Pop, pop. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Ooh, okay. All right. Let's see if he's got the protection. No, he does not have the protection. You might be upset here. Let's do that. Enjoying some portal multiverse repair combo lately to get away with Grixis from time to time. Yeah, those aren't bad combos. <clears throat> not not too bad a combo right there. Silver scrutiny. I don't know what he's got here. Maybe he's got a farewell. That's pretty much the only thing that's going to help him right now, is a farewell. It's about the only thing that's going to work. Soul Partition, nope. for me. Seth Rago, Trexodactyl. What's up, guys? I thought you were never coming. We got Tony Gordo here tonight. He's a first-time first time, uh, visitor. He's a first-time visitor. That's going to march that one. I'm going to kill it. Watch that. That's the type of guy I am. Because I win. I'm not going to let you gain life off me if I'm not, if I don't if I'm if I, if I don't have to. You know what I mean? Beep, beady. Beep, beady. Repair combo. Yeah, I, you know, I've been thinking about doing a repair combo. Um, maybe a uh, um, Orzov repair, or maybe even a Azorius repair. I don't know. I've been thinking about a lot of stuff. <sighs> but I haven't... I've been thinking about this one for a while, too. You know, I don't like to play Esper decks, but... Damn if this one isn't effective. I mean... The... The whatchamacallit, the snap-together ability of... Um... The connive combined with some of the new cards is just... Mwah, you know what I mean? Just... Mm. C'est magnifique. C'est magnifique. Qu'est-ce que c'est magnifique? Hein? Dabo, how was the stream, man? Me and Snow were listening and doing a puzzle. Knive. Let's get rid of a Vandal. Let's put down that. Let's swing in. 
draw. Let's get rid of a ledger shredder. <sighs> Hit. The puzzle's almost finished. We were on a roll, but then I realized I had to go home. You know? We were on a roll. We were on a whole a whole ass roll right there. Uh, buttered roll and everything. We're almost done. It's, it was a horror movies puzzle. That's what it was. Horror movies. Qu'est-ce que c'est horror movies? A good puzzle. Uh, it's a good thing. Uh, I think is uh, maybe uh, we do a good job with the horror movies. Oh, how to do the Q thing. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, pop up. Uh, let's get rid of Fairy Vandal. Oh, let's submit two. We'll do Takanuma. Yep. Draw, hit. Hit, hit. Boom. There we go. So viewer cue, so you can just take challenges. Oh, thank you for the bits, by the way. Appreciate that. Yeah. Man. You, you blew up, Paradob. I gotta say, man. You, you, you really blew up there, man. What'd you, wait, you, you got to partner in, what, fucking two weeks? I mean, affiliate, not partner. Well, if you get to partner before me, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm, I'll be straight with you, man. I'm a big enough, I'm a big enough, uh, I'm a big enough man to say I'm gonna be jealous as fuck if you hit partner before me. Oof. Listen, I'm, I'm a strong enough man to admit that. <coughs> do, do, do. I met a man while going to connives. Every man had seven wives. Every wife had seven sons. Every son had seven sacks. Every sack had seven cats. How many people did I meet going to St. Ives? Oh, wow. That's a lot of garbage. He's going to Zay for Sentinel. That's pretty cool. Who's he going to hit? Perfect. That's what I want. Oh, that's the good stuff right there. Yeah. Nope. Nope. He's going to go with one, two. Gotcha. He's going to go with one. He maybe is. He's going to go with none of them. He's going to go with all of them. All right, let's do this. Badge and gave the first bit so it feels right. Yes, I did. I got the founder's badge. Um, and I'm happy to have you under the uh, the J Villain streaming Aegis. If you get new people in outside of our, our normal community, man, send them on over. We'll grow together. Uh, I don't know. When I hit 10,000, maybe I'll put together a whole Avengers team of streamers. Or we'll merge with Rebellion and get a whole bunch of fucking people on. I don't know. We'll do something, man. We're getting a lot of people together. We got a really tight knit community. We're getting a lot of people together. Uh, we'll shake things up. You know what I mean? Um, the only way we'll take on the top is together. <laughs> like Omar said, you go for the crown, you best not miss. Well, that's a paraphrase. 
Um, cut down. Let's cut down that. Flash. Let's do that. Ooh, very nice. Discard Fairy Vandal. We already got a lot of them. All right. I don't think he's going to survive this, my dudes. That's my guess, though. That's my guess. Let's get rid of Attack Anumas. You got a bunch of these Zafir Sentinels, huh? You got a lot of these guys. Block it right, my dude. We'll shake it up, baby. Now shake it up, baby. No, it won't pump again. But I mean, he's he's done -zo. All I have to do is all I have to do is cycle Rafine's tower, and Gixian will kill him. So it's, it's not really gonna matter. Very nice. Complicated, but nice. Um, yeah. All right. There we go. Hey. Oh, listen, man. Sarth Tharth Rago. I, I, I was in the chat when you got a very, very cold reception to the Angler deck, man. Um, I'm not sure if people are uh, enjoying that as much as you are, my dude. Well, I don't even know what angler. Let's see what the hell that is. Card, no, angel. Um, card angler. Angler Drake or angler turtle? Okay. So let's do angler Drake then. Tireless angler. Oh. Okay, I don't know what that is. Fairy vandal. I'll keep it. Creature, human, rogue. Whenever uh, draft a card. Oh, and it makes a bunch of crazy fish, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it makes a bunch of different Leviathan fish cards. Yeah, I know that one. <laughs> I know that one. I'm going to have to void rent at whatever comes out here. Let's do that. Counterspell or a kill card? We don't know. What do we think? It's a make disappear. He was flip tricking with it when he fought me. Very nice. And of course, we're missing a land here. We're not going to hit our land drop. Maestro's Charms. Look at five, five cards, one in your hand. Flip tricking with it when he fought you. I'm glad. It's a, is it that polar bear one? I know there was a polar bear one that does all kind of shit. He's gonna kill that. 
or hit a sacrifice play on it. Yeah, he's running Grix's control, boys, and I didn't hit my third land drop. The Invocussy. Look at that. Look at that. Still haven't hit the third land drop. I mean the fourth land drop. Probably going to hit Invoke again. There's Brotherhood Zen. Yep. This is a nice force loss for us here. It's really good. really nice how many cards we draw 15 cards three men and 15 cards really fantastic stuff here love to see it um discard a card let's go with cut down since apparently we don't need that let's grab your trespasser yes we do why don't we get rid of body launderer Oh my goodness, look at that. How do you like that, guys? 16 cards in, no mana yet. It's clearly my fault. Yeah, it's my fault for being greedy. Oh, look, it's the fourth card. What, what should we try to get out? Let's try to get a Gigixian. Counterspell, Counterspell City here, because he's got a full fucking rack of cards and unlimited mana. There you go. Cycling, very nice. Hey, Paradabo giving a gift to Sathargo. 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 Drop that. Resolve. Uh, decline. Wobble. Uh, thank you so much. Mr. Dabo. Actually, I don't even think you're one Dabo. You're a pair of Dabos, aren't you? Nice. Like that one, guys. A pair of Dabos. That's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I like that one a lot. Three Dabos in a trench coat. Look at how many of these guys he's got, huh? He's had unlimited of these. This man's got fucking 25 cards left in his deck. Resolve. I'm gonna gain that little bit of uh, destruction there. My turn. To lose. Is he gonna counterspell it or what? Let's get rid of a Gixian. Nice. All right, that was really fun playing with absolutely no mana. That was a really good game. I love playing with no mana. That's my favorite part of the game is when I get no mana for five or six turns. Um, that's really the most enjoyable part of the game. Let's see what's going on under the hood there. That was a little bizarre. A little passing bizarre, as they say. Uh, 24 lands, so that was just shit luck. Um, it's kind of an expensive deck. We could go with the old 25 trick, but I think that was just shit luck. He also had a ton of removal. Okay. Keep. I go first. I'll drop Rafines. I can hit uh, Ledger Shredder. Um, okay. Ledger Shredder. I do have a lot of four drops. That's. I am living or dying by the four drops, which could be a problem, but. 
Um, I might, I might reduce those a, a, a wee tad. <laughs> yeah, I might get one less Gixian. I get one less Gixian and put a little bit more. Well, I do have a lot of two drops. That's not that bad. I mean, hmm. ooh, nice. Rafine, Rafine, the scheming machine. No attacks and turn. Quiet night tonight. I guess it's Saturday. People are out partying. Quiet, quiet night tonight. Lily of the Billy. Yeah, I'm not really happy with the force losses. Um, like the last game when we only have three mana for 15 or so cards. I don't know how many draws. 10 draws and we don't draw mana for any one of them. That's not great. Right now we're experiencing something similar again too. We can't seem to hit the four drop. And if we don't hit the four drop, we're pretty much toast. And this guy's taking a long time, which also I don't like. <laughs> yeah, I don't like when that happens. I, I've run into that where I've absolutely crushed, and it's if I actually get a hand, then that's, that's when it will become dangerous. I don't like that at all. Um... But, you know, when I start start the game with two mana, I say, okay, I'm going to keep this. And then I don't draw any mana for ten cards. Orange Crush, Tokyo Gringo, how you doing? And it's Edge Gonge Go. We'll do that. We'll try a Body Launderer. The Shuffle Hustle. The Shuffle Hustle is real. player discards a card um all right let's do that oh keep a raid ross okay turn a vehicle card all right he's gonna bring uh cloud steel colossus in all right Do that. It's trying to even you out, man. It said, Oh, I sorry. Uh, you didn't have enough mana that time, so let me get you your mana right away, sir. Right away, sir. Let me get you that mana. Probably a protection card because he wants to keep that on there. I would imagine he'd have some sort of protection card, but maybe not.
What do we got? Remove a charge, draw. So if he wants to hit the sacrifice button, he'll have to lose Lily, which is fine. Repair and recharge with Phyrexia. Yeah, obviously. So we're going to let that one go. Another slow hand. We're going to have to drop some of these heavy heavy hands here. Um, we're going to need to move a little faster than that. Cut down. Let's try another cut down. I go first. That's another heavy hand. Might be a little too slow for this meta. That that might be the Well, I'm not drawing my slow things. I'm not drawing my uh I'm not drawing my light stuff. That's the problem. Thran Spider. Okay. We each get a Power Stone. The name that's known as Power Stone. Where the rubber reads the road, boys. Uh, let's get rid of a Gixian. Okay. He's going to try to get something out quick as, quick as a cheetah here. gonna try to do <laughs> let's do that S uh, sacrifice power stone who's trying to ramp Oro's portal, maybe, but I don't see any white mana here. Uh, let's swing a bingo. Let's drop it. Drop, pop, and stop it. Let's get rid of the Sheldrussi. Discard two cards. I don't need a... Well, I'll take a drop of planes. Draw. Hit. Lose. What's he going to run? Might stone and weak stone. Who's he going to drop it on? Negative five on her. He can't swing in. He's going to swing in. I'm going to take the hit. And he's ex. He, whatever he had going on is not working. Okay.
a little something different this late in the season then uh yeah a little something more spicy for you a little bit more of that gain and drain i do like to run as you all know so uh we're gonna leave that deck there for right now ivan j villain and you've been great leave a comment tell me what you think uh it's not esper control that's that's at least say for that it's the only esper deck out there that doesn't have emperor in it so there's that uh connive still got a little bit of fight left in him so talk to you later guys adios good night and the word is drawn bye bye